There's a whole other camo grind in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies that we haven't even started yet. And that's using the Modern Warfare 2 guns. And what better place to start than the Joker? So this is just an absolutely ridiculous launcher that I don't think has ever been in Zombies. And I think it's going to be terrible to get done. So we're going to do it. And the camo challenges for it are pretty basic. We just need to get 250 kills with it. And then we can work on our Golden Ivory challenge. It's kind of like Golden Enigma, but it's a different whole camo from Modern Warfare 3 Zombie camo. But it is the same challenge where you just need to get 100 kills and then exfil with it. But if we ever end up do getting the other launchers done along the way, we can get Spinal Husk here, which I think is a better version of Zircon scale. And then we have Arachnida. I, I don't think I'm ever going to pronounce that right, just so you know. But this is like Modern Warfare 2's version of Serpentine. And then we have Bioluminescent as the final mastery camo. And I was really excited for this camo going into the game, but honestly, it looks kind of disappointing to me. But we won't be getting those camos for a while. So let's just go ahead, hop in, and try to get the Joker done. Ever since that Zombies trailer where they showed the mystery box spinning and you could see the Joker in it, I knew I had to get it done. Because this thing is just ridiculous. And in case you don't know what the Joker is, let me show you. The only way to shoot it is to lock on from a distance and we'll have it go all the way up in the air and come all the way back down. So this is gonna be a pain to get done. We might have to melee for a lot of it, but I did bring speed cola in with me. So hopefully we'll be able to reload it a little faster. Maybe we'll get a few shots off, but I'm thinking the best way to get this done is gonna have to be to find somebody that's already using an exfil location and just launch rockets on them from a distance. Cause otherwise I have no idea how we're getting any kills with this unless we're just walking around and try to sneak up on zombies. But actually an exfil just spawned right here i wonder if i can just start it run away maybe throw a decoy and then launch it where the decoy's at let's see so i'm gonna throw the decoy and i am gonna launch a rocket right here and the decoy's already moved way over to this area let me throw another one go back to it i got nothing with that okay this is gonna be tough oh wait i have an idea actually it's gonna take a little bit of planning but we're gonna shoot it right here throw the decoy after and then run Okay, that got nothing. I have no idea how we're going to get any of this done. We just got to slap them with it, I guess. This is the new melee weapon. Honestly, it's not terrible as a melee weapon. I just hate the melee lunge in this game. It just tries to, like, lock on to zombies near you. And it keeps flipping the zombies way the hell in the other direction. But at least we already had this leveled up from Modern Warfare 2. So we don't have to go through the process of getting it leveled as well. That'd be terrible. But we might as well try to get something done here for our missions. Because I need to complete an Aether Extractor contract. So let me try to find one of those. Why do I not see any? There's Escort. There's the Cargo Delivery. There's Defend Ground Station. There's Raid Weapon Stash. What does the Aether Extractor contract look like? Oh, there it is. It's the rocket. Any rockets near me? Oh my god, there's one right near me the whole time. Oh, and what the fuck is going on, dude? We just got in this game and it's already gonna crash. This is beautiful. Perfect. Cocksuckers are already setting up. The shitty part is, I think the game crashes for basically everybody else but the people doing that duplication shit. I think it's just all the assets being loaded so far away from you. I mean, I'm not a fucking game designer or anything, but at least I think that's how it works. And just in case it does get rough, I did bring in this WSP. Ooh, they're bringing in a, a helicopter full of reinforcements. Guess what? Eat a rocket. Eventually when it lands. There it is. I would have shot it a half hour ago. They'd be done. But with all this crashing going on, I got to try to at least get some of this act one challenges done. That way I can get another insured weapon slot. Right now they're basically forcing me to use the stinger. So let me go ahead and clear these guys out. And then we can go back to our joker. Oh, and we're already down sick why do these guys do so much damage so quickly actually it might be smarter to go down but let's not make a habit of it because i think that's my only self revive we only have a minute 30 to get this done why does every other contract besides like the cargo one suck oh wait i have an airstrike i want to use this enjoy that bastards let's see if we can sneakily get this done there we go now we just need one more we only have 30 seconds to do it so we got to speed run this okay, we just gotta stick it use it start put it in there that's what she said Come on. We got it. Run! I hate that I get stuck after completing it. Oof. Now we just need to clear these guys out and we can get our reward. What do we get? Oh, another self-revive. Beautiful. Dead shot. I'll just stow that. Ooh, and should we use this? No, I'm going to stow that as well. Actually, you know what? This game is probably going to crash, so might as well make the most of it. We can't even throw this on our Joker. That's dumb. Okay, well, I guess we will be keeping it. And if we can get out with it, it'll be a nice little reward. What else do we have to do? Exfil with un uncommon Aether tool plans? How the hell am I going to get that? Oh, this is... Oh, we, we're holding it. 
That's what it is. Oh, well, let's just go complete the mission then before they crash the server. Just a quick little side quest on our way to get the Joker done. How is this shit even fun, dude? Just get the kills with your gun. It's not that difficult. Like, this is ridiculous. You don't even have to do anything. What's the fun in this? Oh, and we went down. I wonder if I can just crawl right onto the chopper and still keep myself revived. Oh no, he's over here teabagging me. What a dickhead. Whatever, I'll just use a self-revive to get out of here. Fuck these guys. That's a quick mission done. Oh, and we still have like two whole tiers of missions to do for Act 1. Oh, a few. More than a few. All right, well, we'll have to grind those another time. I just wanted to get one mission done at least. We gotta get some camos. Now that that's out of the way, let's start killing some zombies with this. And I'm a little bit curious to see what the Joker's like pack a punch. I feel like it's not gonna change a whole lot, but maybe I can shoot multiple rockets or shoot faster. Because obviously I'm gonna get more ammo. It's gonna do more damage, right? But I wonder if it has any different effects. So let me grab a car. I'm gonna go do a quick cargo run contract or two or three, depending on how many it takes for us to get enough to pack a punch. Then we'll see what it's like. Because if there's any way to make this weapon better, we need to do it. I'm not going to sit here and melee 250 zombies. I, I will if I have to, but I got to try some other things first. But we got to see if there's any way to make it better. And that's one cargo contract done. We got a nice little self revive. I'll be using that. And we have an ammo mod here. What's an ammo mod like on this? We got a few zombies right here. Let's see what this ammo mod does, if anything. I don't think it went off. I think they all just exploded. <laughs> and we got two of the cargo transport contracts done. Give me Ethereum crystal? Nope. Can I use this though? Oh, it was the the other one was a uh, schematic. That's why I couldn't use it. I was wondering why I couldn't upgrade the rarity of the launcher, but we do have enough to pack a punch now. So let's make our way over there. All right, let's see if anything changes after pack a punching besides it looking better. This is actually a really good way to look at the Pack-A-Punch camo. There's so much, like, surface area on this gun. And we didn't even get that much more ammo. I guess we get three bullets instead of just one before having to reload, but that's not that crazy. But we found our test subject. Does it shoot any faster? Um, slightly. Uh, it does, uh, explodes them about the same. Probably does the same amount of damage. Is there an X-Fill nearby that we can test this on? We'll have to go find one. Looks like it does the same amount of melee damage, though. That would have been a fun upgrade. Give this thing like a bayonet. Now, I'm sorry to this guy over here, but we need to test this out. So I can shoot one rocket. Oh, immediately lock on and start shooting another. We can start, you just shoot all three rockets right away. That's kind of crazy. And all the zombies are just standing still now. I don't know what happened. Maybe he stunned them? Or maybe this is the Joker's secret ability? There's no way he stunned all of them though, right? They all just stopped moving. Maybe I took over aggro because I'm shooting at them, but they don't know where I am. Why are they all standing still? What's happening? Is the Joker actually busted for this? What happens if I go down there? Because there is another player down there. Oh yeah, they were all aggroed at me. But they just didn't know where I was. Hey, you guys need to get in a cashmere and it needs to go back to that. That's kind of crazy. So if you and a friend are grinding out camos, fuck the sentry turret. Have somebody use the Joker. Then all the zombies won't give a fuck about you. Let's invite this guy to our, our party. But I don't think he wants to be very friendly with us since we're over here just airstriking his shit. It's weird that if you're like scoped in on this, you don't see the XP pop up or anything. Either that or I'm just completely whiffing these zombies. I think he's trying to lead the zombies back to me. He's trying to get me killed. He's not happy about it, I don't think. I don't think we're gonna see our camo pop up if it does. We might just have to just keep getting kills and see what happens. Oh, and I think our buddy left. Who's gonna spawn these zombies in for us now? The good thing we have Aether Shroud because I think I have a plan. We can just come down here, start the X-Fill Aether Shroud away, and then all the zombies will forget where we are. But we need to get an Aether Shroud first. That's the challenge. And this should do it right here. Beautiful. All right, let's see if it works. We'll call in the x -fell. Run as far away as we can. And Aether Shroud. They already all forgot where we are. And we're right back to our spot. But we do not have that much ammo, so... Hopefully this takes most of them out here. They're grouped together enough. Despite this weapon being terrible, it is not that hard to use. Or at least get camos done for. And I also just noticed that instead of the Joker, it's called the Jester when it's Pack-A-Punch. That had to be fun for the devs to go back and rename all the MW2 weapons give them pack a punch names but it doesn't have as big as a splash radius as you'd think like it's not killing all the zombies in a group but i think we should be getting close to getting our camo if we don't already have it like just a few more rockets should do it the actual helicopter is actually kind of a an asshole sits here and blocks all of our shots oh that's beautiful give me more 
Ah, uh, there's gotta be no way we don't have 250 kills on this yet. I'm gonna start up one more X fell to be safe, but I'm pretty sure we got it. All right, let's go try to hop on there. Okay, hopefully that was enough and we're done. All right, the zombies are extracting with us. How many kills did it say we got? 491, so we definitely got our camo. But let's see if they gave us gold as well. I didn't see any camo pop up, actually. I didn't see a single one. Are you kidding me? We needed 13 more kills? All right, well, I guess one more game with it. I wonder why I wasn't counting everything. Maybe the melee kills really didn't count. Oh, well. Why am I only in here with my fists? Did I not equip it? Oh, no, there it is. They just don't have a starting animation for the Joker. I don't think they expect people to use this fucking thing. Please be enough kills right here. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so maybe the problem with this is I need to unscope from the Joker to get the kills to count. Because obviously, like, it's counting the number of kills I'm getting, but I don't think it's counting towards our camo while I'm scoped in, which is weird. Very weird bug. But if the whole not being able to get progress while zoomed in is real... This gun is extremely inefficient because I have to wait for the entire rocket to land to even start shooting another one because chances are by the time I'm done reloading and done locking on and shooting this rocket, the one I just shot's probably already hitting the ground. And all of that just to get like two, maybe three kills if the zombies are still in the same spot by the time I'm done shooting. Or the Xville helicopter will block it. Oh, that time we made it past. Will this guy join our group? Oh, he will. Let's go. This is actually ridiculous. The amount of effort I'm putting in to get one or two kills. I'm running all the way over here, you know, grabbing some ammo, killing some time, moving the zombies to the right spot, hitting an aether shroud, running back up the hill, and then launching it here just in time for either the exfil chopper to block it or for only two zombies to be in the way. Oh yeah, I got blocked. Sweet. Maybe I need to lure these zombies instead. Let's aether shroud. Send it at them right over here. Can't even see anything. Oh, and they went down the hill. Like climbing off the cliff. Beautiful. Got nothing out of it. These melee kills better count. Because I think this is the only way we're getting anything done. But I guess while I'm sitting here painstakingly trying to get these kills, I just want to thank you guys for all the support recently. I've been saying it at the end of the videos, but I don't know how many people make it all the way to the end. But the just all the support on the videos has been absolutely incredible since the games came out. Like we've gotten over like 2,000 subs since the game came out. You guys are showing a lot of love on the videos and I just really appreciate it. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, I was going to say, this is one of the launchers that you don't really need PhD for, but it could be beneficial because I could just launch a rocket and then run at where it's going to land and then have all the zombies get hit by it too. Fuck it, we'll try it. And that didn't even work. There we go. <laughs> That kind of worked. And so I just got to pull my fists out and sprint at where I'm shooting my rocket. I can't believe that's the that's the best strategy we got for this. Either that, we have to go back to that other exfil location, which I honestly might do because fuck this. I shoot it there. Watch this. It's like throwing a ball up in the air and then trying to catch it yourself. But this got way more hang time. <laughs> we got one kill for that. These zombies are just too fast to actually shoot it where they're going to run and just too slow to force them over there and our teammates down and I'm about to down myself with my own rocket and we go try to help him. Oh wait, there's a lot of zombies on his body. I wish I didn't run far enough to activate them all. Was not paying attention, he said. Playing kind of reckless, huh? Get it? Because that's his name. Everybody clap. Let's see if I can get him up. Ooh, it's gonna be close. We got it. Oh no, is the map fucking lagging? Look how slow it's going. We're never getting gold on this. Yeah, look, we can watch the rocket go up. There's no fucking way, dude. This is so ass. I didn't even get a kill from that. I got to exfil now and just hope that we got the 100 kills. Okay, we'll shoot one more rocket. Hopefully that gets some kills and the propeller doesn't block it. Bars, holy shit. And let's leave. I'm very scared this map's gonna crash. It already got way too close for comfort. Please say that we got enough though. Please. All right, we got out of here. Unless it crashes the second before we get out. No, we're safe. We had 173 kills. Please say that's enough for gold. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Ooh, just barely too. All right, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what golden ivory looks like there. Ooh, this camo is actually pretty sick. I don't know how they did it, but both of the zombies gold camos look better than the multiplayer gold. I'm just going to say it. The gilded camo is ass compared to this. This is elegant, and it's on a big as fuck gun, too. Man, that was a pain in the ass to get, but it was kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. 
It's fun trying to strategize around these weird weapons. But we did it. We got probably the worst weapon in zombies done, and we had a good time doing it. That was pretty fun. I, I like doing wacky weapons like this, where it's just, you can't do anything normally. Everything you do has to be some weird, out-of-the-box way to try to get the camos, and it was a lot of fun doing it. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys again for all your love and support. I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.